Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Christina Janes. Back now to our top story. Alberto Quiros has been locked up since last week in connection with the death of CHP officer Lucas Shalou. Now, investigators say Shalou was in pursuit of Quiros on Fruit Ridge and Stockton before that officer crashed his motorcycle and died. CBS 13's Lamar Abrams is live at the Sacramento County Superior Court with the charges and an emotional day in court. Lamar? That's right, Sam. The courtroom was packed with fellow CHP officers in uniform. They looked on in sadness to the suspect accused of leading their friend and former colleague on a chase that led to his death. 26-year-old Alberto Quiroz showed little emotion as he accepted a public defender and three felony charges less than a week after being arrested in connection with the fatal crash of CHP officer Lucas Chalou. To elude a pursuing peace officer's motor vehicle uh, while all the following conditions existed. The most severe charge alleges Quiroz evaded an officer leading to his death, a crime punishable by close to a decade in jail. But outside the courtroom... How do you feel about the situation? I don't know not yet. Quiroz's father defended his son. Did he intend to do it? I don't think so. At the scene of the crash, a growing memorial and strong emotion. He should get what he deserves. Quiroz was also charged with stealing the motorcycle he allegedly rode during the chase that ended in Officer Shalou's death, an eight-year veteran of the department, leaving the community heartbroken and hopeful for justice. Now, I'm told Quiroz could face up to seven years in jail for the most serious charge, but that could double based on any prior convictions. For now, we know Quiroz will reappear in court next week. All right, Lamore Abrams live in Sacramento. Lamore, thank you. Now, the CHP has just released information on Officer Shalou's memorial services. They're happening this Saturday, 10 a.m. at the Adventure Christian Church in Roseville.